Welcome collectors and diecast enthusiasts. Thank you so much for tuning in to this installment of Diecast Emporium. Today we're going to take a look at one of the newest releases in Diecast Master's Caterpillar Core Classic series. This is the Cat D6T with Grade Control System. A little bit of history about this model. This has been around for the better part of 15 years. It originally started as a Norscott piece back in 2007. Then, as the acquisition with Diecast Masters took place in late 2015, it moved to their Highline series. And just recently, within the past month or so, it has been released as a Core Classic series piece. And I'll explain basically what that means, the advantages of that, as we get into the review. So, if you've never been with me before for a Core Classic series review... Basically, it differs in one big reason, or one main way, from the Highline series. The Highline series models come in a collectible metal tin. The Core Classic series models come in this brown or beige style box. The outer shipping box is pretty much the same. It's still the cardboard box, uh, but it's brown instead of white, and it has your item number on the side, 85197C. Again, the C designates that it is a Core Classic series piece. Let's go ahead and start unboxing this. Uh, again, the Core Classic Series models are in this brown or beige style box, and that, of course, is paying homage and is a nod to the style of parts boxes that the real parts come for the cat equipment. Again, very nice, subtle gesture there. So there you can see the model inside. Again, the description, Cat D6T XW VPAT Track Type Tractor. Again, this VPAT is an acronym that stands for Variable Pitch Angle and Tilt, which describes the movement of the blade. Again, there's your item number. On the back, you have a picture of the real machine, as you typically do with all Diecast Masters cat pieces. And there are your machine dimensions and operational specifications. If you are interested in that kind of thing, please, at this point, feel free to pause the video. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed and take a closer look at it. So, I mentioned that this was a Highline series model. It is now available in the Core Classic series. Basically, long story short, it is retired from the Highline series models where it retailed for about $78 US. Now it's in the Core Classic series model, which is good for you because now the price goes from $78 to $71 US. You are saving roughly about $7. The savings comes from the style of packaging that it comes in. So obviously you're not getting the metal tin, you are getting the Core Classic Series cardboard box. But most importantly, and this is crucial, you're not losing any of the build quality or any of the detail with the model. The model is still the same, it's still the exact same model you would get if you bought the Highline Series model. It just comes in a different style of packaging. Alright, so let's get the dozer out. A couple things... Obviously, here is your catalog or brochure that's in every single one of these Diecast Masters cat models. And this is always helpful to have so that you can see the entire lineup and keep your collection up to date. There are two plastic pieces that protect the tracks from separating during shipping, and they always seem to work very well. So, here's the dozer. So, this casting, as I said, has remained relatively unchanged since 2007. Diecast Masters, again, once they took it over, they added a couple little subtle changes, including putting Bob, our operator friend, in the cab, as you can see here, and adding a couple different warning labels and things throughout the dozer. The biggest thing that you'll immediately notice, and again, this was like this on the original and on the Highline series, here are your GPS pods. Again, specifically, these are the OccuGrade GPS grade control system that Caterpillar has. One of the first things that many collectors do because the model doesn't come like this, is they add some cording or wiring from the pods to the front here of the engine housing, just to give it a more realistic appearance that you would see, obviously, on a real job site. Again, very simple to do. It's not that hard. It takes about 20 minutes to do so. As for the functionality, which we will go through right now, starting at the rear, the three-shank ripper raises and lowers, and it does go just below the tracks, so it lifts the rear part of the tractor off the ground, as you can see here. And the blade has all the VPAT, VPAT motions, such as raising to a very good height. Specifically, all the way up to here, 
which is very, very respectable. And here are your tilt, both left and to the right. And this, as you can see here, the cylinders are strong enough to hold any pose at any angle you set. Additionally, you can pose the dozer just below the track frames. And again, that's good enough to hold it off the ground. One other cool, somewhat hidden feature that many people, if they don't own this dozer, are not familiar with, is that both sides of the cab open. So, you can pose the machine with the glass doors open. And again, the other side opens as well. The hinges are discreetly hidden, so that, again, they don't stand out at all or look obtrusive. So it works quite well. As for the tracks, they won't roll on a smooth surface. However, you can roll them freely by hand as they are tensioned. And the drive sprocket on this appears to be made of plastic, but the color match is good that you can hardly tell. Looking underneath, for those that want to see an underneath side of the tractor, you can see the uh, track individual track links have bolt detail on them, as does the blade. All right, let's see how this looks on a low boy. Pardon the large hand in the screen. Once again, if you're not familiar, this is the recently released Kenworth Lowboy set by Diecast Masters, part of their transport series. Go ahead and put our dozer on here, see how he looks. And it makes a pretty convincing Lowboy load. So there you go. All right, friends, so that is a quick review and recap of the newly released Diecast Masters Core Classic Series Caterpillar D6 XW VPAT or VPAT track type tractor in 1 to 50 scale. A very impressive and very affordable 1 to 50 scale medium sized dozer. So, again, if you're looking for a uh, D6 specifically or a cat dozer that is affordable, this is a very good option for you. Again, if you're looking for a newer style D6, take a look at the top of your screen right now because Diecast Masters, currently in their Highline series, uh, within the past year has released two different D6 options in the new Hex uh, logo for CAT that are very, very nice machines as well. So I will post a link to those. You can compare and contrast it with this model, with those reviews, figure out which one works best for you. And until next time, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to stay tuned. We've got a lot of great stuff coming up here within the next few days. So if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. Until next time, take care, and I'll see you in the next review.